What's up, guys? Uh, so I just wanted to give a little update on that tutorial video I made. So apparently, there is an easier way to do this. You still need an SD card, but um, or a micro SD, whatever. But uh, instead of having to buy the little thumb drive where you have to keep taking the SD card out, I had no idea there was a firmware update with a file manager in it. So you don't even need to take the SD card out. Um, Thank you to the person who commented on my video with the link to the description. Uh, Darth Domo is actually where I watched the uh, video. He's a great video maker so far, and um, I like a lot of his content. I definitely recommend you go and subscribe to him if you have a definitely if you have a Q Flipper or, if, or a uh, Flipper Zero, or if you want to learn about st technology. <laughs> He's been great so far, and watching his video really helped. Uh, there is a link for the firmware here. I will have it in my description. So um, basically here, I'm just going to run a demo of it real quick. So it's a lot easier than having to take the SD card out every time to put the uh, duck script in. I'm not going to go over how to write duck script again because you can find all that. That still stands in my old tutorial video. Um, you'll still be able to learn how to like write the duck and all that crap. But uh, if we go to this right here, so this is the website here. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, but basically, this adds a file manager to your Q Flipper. It's a version of Q Flipper that adds a file manager, and I'll show that to you here. So we'll go into Q Flipper here. Let me go ahead and plug my Flipper in just to get the preemptive start on it. And we just open Q Flipper down here. There we go. So now you can see we're in the Q Flipper version that has the file manager, which is this third tab here. So instead of having to take your SD card out if you want to add scripts and things like that, to we just go to the bad USB folder like right here. And basically, I wrote a little uh, text script which just opens up Notepad and says this is a test. But uh, basically, I will show you real quick. Um, I'll write I'll write another one just to give you guys an example. So we'll just we'll change the text of what the code actually is. So we'll go here and we'll go uh, testing one two three. And then I'll just go ahead and rename that just so it saves a different file and it doesn't overwrite my other one in the flipper here. Testing. .txt. Still want to save it as a text file. So we close this out here. And if you want to add anything to your uh, script here, so instead of having to do the whole uh, taking out the SD card, putting in the thumb drive, all that yada, yada, yada. You can literally just click the file here that's on my desktop or wherever you have it saved and you just put it in your folder. And now you can see it shows up right here, testing.txt.txt. That's funny. I accidentally saved it to, oh my God. But anyways, um, yeah, you get the point there. That makes it a lot easier than having to, um, having to keep on plugging the SD card and now you can just save it directly to the flipper. I really like that a lot. You can still do the screen share here. Um, but yeah, that was just the quick update I wanted to give you guys on it. And I just wanted to uh, say thank you so much to the uh, commenter who pointed that out and sent me the link to Darth Domo's video on it. Again, he's awesome so far. I can't wait till he releases more content on the Flipper Zero because I'm learning basically whatever he teaches on there. And... It's, it's great having the community where we can help each other out with these things because I know they're very new and it's just something that I've taken quite an interest in. So I can't wait to make more videos of these. Um, again, that was just a uh, quick update that I wanted to give all you guys about what I found out on the Flipper because of a commenter. And again, thank you to everyone who's helping me in the comments that says, hey, you know, you could do this or you could do that and they're giving hints and tips the community has been great again keep up on the discord and they keep commenting anything uh like and subscribe to my channel and uh 
yeah, that's really about it. So uh, thanks, guys, and thanks for the update. Hope you guys found something out of this and this helped anybody that was looking for the firmware update. Take care.